let me give you the scoop on how I made this ice cream mountain with generative fill and After Effects. Let's dive into it. Okay, so I have my clip in After Effects of a ski mountain resort. I have a screenshot that I imported into Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I'm gonna select the upper portion of my mountain in the background and hit delete. And I'll expand my selection by five pixels. And I'll type in my prompt here. Eh, not quite what I'm looking for, but I'll adjust my prompt and generate again. closer. Let me try one more time. Great. Now I'll select a portion of this and I'll try ice cream scoop mountains. Okay. This looks delicious. I'll select a portion of this and I'll do it again. Perfect. I'll choose option three, save this and I'll go back to after effects. And my goal here is to replace the back mountains with part of the image that I just generated. So I'll import my GenFill PSD and I'll leave it on the bottom layer. With my video clip selected, I'll go to Animation, Track and Boris FX Mocha. And then I'll click on the Mocha icon in Effect Controls. Now Mocha will pop up and I'll select my X-Spline tool. And with my X-Spline tool, I'll select a portion of my background mountains. And I'll click Show Surface and align surface to align it with the proportions of my comp and track forward. I'll speed this up for you. Okay, it looks great. So I'll save this and I'll jump back into After Effects. Opening up my tracking data, I'll click Create Track Data. I'll use layer one, hit okay. And layer export two, I'll export to my PSD and apply export. Now I'll lower my opacity on the top layer and I'll just grab my mask tool and I'll just duplicate my video clip and have a clean layer on bottom. And I'll create a mask right under my ice cream mountains where the snow meets the ice cream. Bring my opacity back to 100. And I'll feather this mask a bunch. And there we have it. And you'll see I added a few more elements in the final version to really sell the forced perspective. But there you go. Ice cream, anyone?